So last time I melted some copper down into ingots. And the reason I did that is so I could alloy it with different things and make different alloys and make different things. One of those alloys I'm going to make first is aluminum bronze. You take copper, mix it with pure aluminum. This came from uh, mostly extrusions. Extrusions are fairly pure. And you mix them in, in different ratios and you get aluminum bronze. It looks gold. It's tarnish resistant. It work hardens like crazy. It's, it's, it's really cool. I'm going to take that aluminum bronze and make it into a smithing hammer. But I'm not the only one. Another YouTube channel, uh, SW Dweeb, we're both going to make aluminum bronze hammers. Uh, you'll, you'll probably see the final videos out at the same time, so watch mine, watch his. I don't know if we're doing, like, who wins or whatever, but if my hammer doesn't shatter a bunch of pieces into my face and kill me, I'm going to feel like the winner. So here's some of my, uh, my copper pucks off the shelf, some of the, the pure aluminum pucks off the shelf. And what I'm aiming for is a 10%, whoa, 10% aluminum-ish into 90% uh, copper. And most, most aluminum bronze alloys are like 5 to 12. Wow, that beeps loud. 5 to 12% aluminum, the rest copper. So I'm going to shoot for like 10-ish, see what happens. This is my lightest aluminum ingot, pure aluminum ingot. 142 grams, so we need 1430, 1440 grams for a 10%. Just stack them up here. This many gives me 1471. It's a little bit more than, than 10 times this. So, you know, we're looking a little bit less than 10%, nine and a half or whatever. I, I don't math, but that's close enough. That'll give me 1614, 1614 grams of aluminum bronze, roughly like three and a half-ish pounds. Okay, fire up the grill. One thing I learned doing this, matches, not as much fun, especially when you get a little blast of heat in your face. Also, this lid, surprisingly difficult to figure out which way it goes on. Yep, it's crooked. Yep, and it's still crooked. I, I, don't, I don't figure that out until later. So what's the deal with aluminum bronze anyway? Well, it's an alloy, mostly copper, a little bit of aluminum. I work hardens very, very hard. It's also kind of a low friction material, so it works good in bearings. Very, very resistant to corrosion even like salt water, so we use it a lot in ships, like I know uh, Navy ship propellers are a lot of times made of aluminum bronze, and it's also non-sparking, so you find it a lot in like fasteners and equipment where you, where you can't have a spark, like if it's around really, really flammable crap that you don't want blowing up at random because that's really inconvenient when that happens. It also resists like barnacles and stuff, because you don't want barnacles sticking to the bottom of your ship or your propeller. I think the main reason you don't see it more, even though it's amazing, is that it's very expensive being mostly copper, and it's very, very expensive to machine, to make anything out of it. I think it'll work great as a hammer, because it's also a little denser than steel. Okay, people, hair dryer is a little overpowered. Barely had time to blabber at all, and it's all melted already. Holy crap. I gotta squint to look in there. All right, all right, here we go. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's hot in there. Cannot see. Ooh. The heat coming off of there is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I cannot see. My face is on fire. It just, it just melted like nothing. Sweet burning aluminum bronze. Oh man, I'm just gonna pour it. So hot. Here we go. There we go. Oh, there goes the charcoal. Oh, well, I, I guess I guess that's all the pour. All right, I'm just gonna set that up here then. And my little bit of charcoal that fell out. Had charcoal stuffed in the crucible. The idea there is that the charcoal will react with the oxygen in case the burner is running a little bit too lean. And it'll react with the, uh, the charcoal instead of oxidizing my copper. I didn't even have time to do this. It's hurrying. Do, 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 do. Cool, look at that. Oh, they're still hot. Oh, that is so cool. It's gold. I'm rich. I have made gold. Suck at alchemists of the past trying to make gold from stuff. Ha ha! Oh man, I think I did it. I did it! Now we're gonna have to run these through some tests to make sure they're hammer ready. Ta-da! Here we go! This, this kind of got chunky. Ended up with one and a half kilograms of aluminum bronze. A little more in these scraps, so that's about what I expected. But what I did is I took this one and I kind of wire wheeled it 
and we're going to run this one through some tests. There are a few issues that need to be worked out, for example, uh, whether or not this is too brittle, uh, if it's actually as hard as I think it is, and here's how we're going to do it. Clamp it in the vise. Test number one. Is it that brittle? So, clamp the... wait, 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 wait. Safety first. I got a face shield now. How brittle is it? Is it brittle at all? Okay. Suffice to say, that's not very brittle, because I just hammered it, and it would have shattered if it was brittle. Let's, let's try another one. Ready, steady. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that not being brittle. A lot of times if you mix it too much, like 50-50 by weight, remember I did this by weight, 10% aluminum by weight. If you do it like too much aluminum by weight and you do this, they'll break. And if that breaks it, then clearly this is not a hammer-worthy material. Next up, Chirpy requested I try filing it. Hey, wait, we need a control. So here's copper. Stupid van hood in my way. Copper, file. Aluminum bronze time. So that's obviously harder. Got a tiny bit there. So for science, let's try to put a dent in it. Same deal with the copper. How's that for a difference? All cratered up like the surface of the moon or a teenager's face. Not so bad at all. Look at that. Next up, sand casting it. 